So before we get into today's video, I wanted to introduce you guys to the newest member of the, I guess, HBL manga family. This is Pippin, and he is going to make lots of appearances in today's video because he just demands attention all the time, which I give to him because why wouldn't I? Okay, it is manga collection time. I wanna get right into it so this video isn't too terribly long. So if you have any questions, comment down below and I will answer them. This is my manga collection as of March, 2023. So first up here, I have my Berserk Volume 1 in Japanese. Berserk is my favorite manga of all time, as you can maybe guess. So I like getting kind of things related to it, all that sort of stuff. So I did want to get this Volume 1 in Japanese, uh, just kind of here on display. Right here, I also have a Guts Glass painting, and then behind all of that, I have Berserk Volumes 1 through 12 in the hardcover deluxe editions by Dark Horse. I love these editions, I think they're stunning. Uh, volume 13 does come out relatively soon and I don't know where it's gonna go because I have all that stuff back there. Uh, but we're gonna deal with that when the time comes. But fantastic dark fantasy series, I don't need to say more, It everyone knows about it. Next up I have, actually this was recently released, this is the Guts Berserker Armor uh, pop-up parade figure. I love this figure, there aren't a lot of super affordable berserk figures out there they always seem to be either statues or a million dollars and this one is just absolutely stunning for the price and i am so excited to have it obviously if it's berserk figure reasonably priced i'm gonna buy it so highly recommend this figure he just looks absolutely stunning and behind him i actually have a, a young animal issue of uh, I guess not necessarily Berserk, but it's a Young Animal Issue magazine, kind of like celebrating Miura and his life. This was released after he passed away, um, so it kind of has, like the cover has uh, guts on it. Um, so I just kind of wanted to get that. It did come with a variety of other things, the poster being one of them, and that is actually on my wall, but kind of just like a memorial piece, I guess. So next up, I have Berserk Written in Darkness. This is kind of just like a book going into more detail about the lore of Berserk. I have yet to read this, but I will eventually one of these days. Um, and then next up here, this is kind of like going into my like kind of collector's mentality. I, it was a goal of mine to collect all of Miura's manga that either he wrote or drew in English. And that is exactly what I did. So first up here, I just have the official guidebook. Then I have the light novel, The Flame Dragon Knight. Then I have the three manga series that uh, one-offs that were written by him. Giganto Maxia was written by him. And Japan and King of Wolves is actually drawn by him. So, got all of these. Really excited. This has been a collecting goal of mine for a while. Japan and King of Wolves are hard to find and can be very, very expensive. So, do just be aware of that. But, really excited to kind of like feel complete in that way and have my manga shrine of uh, Miura <laughs> be kind of complete. So, very excited for that. That is my first shelf and my Berserk shrine. Uh, moving on down, next, kind of getting into my JoJo section. So first up here, I have uh, Joseph and Caesar and Androids. Joseph is my favorite JoJo so far, and Caesar is one of my favorite Joe Bros, so I kind of wanted to get them. I don't know why. It is what it is. And then behind them, I have The Spoke Rohan Kishibe Volumes 1 and 2. This is complete. I know this isn't chronologically in the correct order. I know it needs to go elsewhere, but I'm kind of like a stickler for uniformity, and it just didn't look good where I would need to put it. So I just put it in front here and called it a day. So... That's there. I haven't read this yet because I'm not at that part, uh, but the covers are stunning. Like, they are beautiful covers. Um, next, moving on, I have JoJo's Part 1, Part 2, uh, Part 3. This is complete for these parts. Part 2, Battle Tendency, is my favorite JoJo's part. I love it. I love Joseph. Just a fantastic part. Part 3 was kind of a letdown after Part 2, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, and I also have a Caesar plush. I don't know why I got this, but he's just chilling, I guess. <laughs> Okay, next moving on down, I have more JoJo's. So I have part four and part five of JoJo's actually caught up to date. So I am up to date with JoJo's, which feels really, really good, at least in the physicals. Uh, very excited to have this entire series because it was a bear to get into and these are not the cheapest volumes. Highly recommend JoJo's, everyone knows about it. I mean, it's a classic for a reason. Very excited to get into it more. I'm currently at part four. I haven't gotten into it yet. I will eventually. I just have other things that I'm reading right now, but really good stuff. Next to me on in front of it, I just have a Star Platinum super action figure guy thing. I don't really know. He's just kind of hanging out. I like him, so he's there. Then I have the stone mask and then a fake plant. But the manga behind that, I have Alice in Borland volumes one through four. If you are looking for a good death game manga, 
this is where you should go to, or at least one of the places you should go to. Uh, I've been really enjoying it. The releases by Viz are kind of a little lackluster. The quality isn't great, but the story has been a lot of fun. And I believe Volume 5 comes out in a couple days, so I will need to be picking that up relatively soon. Okay, next we man down. First up here, I have Kakashi and Shikamaru and Androids. Uh, I just... You're going to see a lot of Naruto stuff. I like Naruto a lot. <laughs> uh, but behind them, I have Parasite in the full color editions by Kanansha Volumes 1 and 2. This is currently up to date. Um, I did have the previous versions of Parasite, but decided to sell them for these really nice hardcover editions. If you're looking to get into Parasite, which I highly recommend you do if you haven't already, uh, definitely go this route. They are stunning. They look really, really good. The quality is great. And Parasite is just a fantastic series, both manga and anime. Uh, so yeah. Really like these, really excited for them to spell out Parasite in its entirety. I think that'll look really nice, but yeah, good stuff. Next we on here, I have Fire Force in the Omnis by Kodansha Volumes 1 and 2. I'm actually really impressed with these Omnis. They are quite nice to read. I don't worry while reading it about breaking the spine. Like, they just do a really good job. I will say what I've experienced when trying to, like, pick a volume, a lot of them have, like, residue on it. I don't really know why or what the problem is, but they just kind of have, like, gunk on them. So just be aware of that. If you are picking up these volumes, you might get a gunky volume and just, just kind of, I don't know, be on the lookout for that. But Fire Force actually is quite enjoyable. I've been meaning to get into it for a while, and then these Omnis came out, and I just decided let's let's just do the Omnis because they are really, really great. So uh, I really recommend it. It's just a fun, solid shonen, I would say. Next moving on, I have Ragna Crimson Volumes 1 through 7. I have been seeing this series praises for a while. If you want a good dark fantasy series focused around dragons, I really recommend it. I actually think the series is pretty underrated. Um, I've been really enjoying it. Volume eight does come out relatively soon. And I am, I believe, like a volume behind. I do need to read this, um, but I highly recommend it. It did take me a little bit to get into the series, like a chapter or two, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but once I got into it, I was hooked and I really enjoyed it. So again, dark fantasy with dragons. What more could you want? Next movie on here, I have a record of Ragnarok volumes one through five. If you are looking for a action series with big dudes fighting big dudes and these big dudes you may or may not have heard of from history. I highly recommend it. A uh, record of Ragnarok follows kind of the story of Ragnarok where Earth's greatest warriors fight the gods in order to protect and save humanity. I actually really enjoy it. It's a good read to just kind of turn your brain off and just have fun with. Uh, so if that's something you're looking for, definitely give this a shot. And I am up to date. I've read all of these and I really have been enjoying them. <laughs> Next moving on, I have No Longer Human. This is actually a newer release, or I guess this version is a newer release by Kodansha. Uh, this used to exist in three single versions and Kodansha got, I guess, got the rights and put it together in a complete edition. Uh, no Longer Human is really sad. It follows our main character who uh, struggles <laughs> with uh, himself as a person, humanity, and like relating to other people. Uh, he deals with a lot of mental illness and goes through a lot of really tough, can I help you? <laughs> a lot of really tough situations. So I would recommend this to very select people. Definitely you need to be an older audience and uh, just, I don't know, you got to be in the right mind space to read it. Like I cried during this series. Like it made me feel horrible for like days after reading it. So just <laughs> be aware of that. It's really good, but it's really, really sad. Um, next moving on though, I have All You Need Is Kill which is done actually by the same mangaka as Death Note and is the same premise uh, as The Edge of Tomorrow. The source material for this manga and for The Edge of Tomorrow is actually the same. And The Edge of Tomorrow is a Western film. So I really like this read. I actually, it was one of the first honestly, volumes that I picked up. And I always say it is a great read if you're just getting into manga. I actually recommend, there was this girl at Barnes and Noble one day and she was like, I wanna get a manga for my dad. What what should I get him? And I was like, get him this because I think it's really good. It's like heavy action, interesting sci-fi elements. I, and I really like it. I need to read it again because I actually really enjoyed it. And yeah, I don't know, I recommend it. Next moving on, I have Death Note in the Black Editions, Volumes 1 through 6. Uh, this is complete in the Black Editions. I mean, everyone knows about Death Note. It was one of the first series that I picked up. So again, it kind of has like a special place in my heart. Uh, really good psychological thriller mystery read. Uh, I recommend it. The anime too is great. I, I don't know what else to say. It's just, it's, it's good. I recommend it. <laughs> Okay, moving on down, this is my Naruto shelf. It's actually double stacked. All of the shelves in the bottom of my 
top shelves are <laughs> double stacked. Um, so this is my, hello Pippin. Um, can you move? Thank you. Uh, this, okay. This is my <laughs> Naruto shelf volumes one through 72 and the seventh Hokage and the Scarlet Spring. I believe that's what it says. Uh, so I am currently complete, currently complete. I don't know. I am complete with Naruto, which feels really good. Uh, Naruto is my favorite out of the big three. I just, it has nostalgic value for it, you know, and I just, I don't know why. I'm, yes, I'm reading One Piece, but I just love Naruto. So I uh, got these through the box sets and uh, just a really great series. I don't know what else to say about it. Everyone knows about it. Um, I do also have some kind of like one-off related things uh, for this series. I have a volume two in Japanese. I have, I think it's like a character book I, uh, some book I don't know I think it's for Shippuden though um, and then I have the official character data book uh, as well so just kind of like getting things related to Naruto just because I do really like it a lot so that is my Naruto shelf and let's continue on to the next bookcase <sighs> Okay, so next we got up here, first up we have some figures. So back here we have the Hiyakimaru Good Smile figure uh, from the series Dororo. <laughs> uh, Dororo is actually my favorite anime of all time and I knew that I wanted a figure for it. I have yet to read the manga, but I actually do have the manga, so it's just a matter of me, <laughs> of me reading it. Um, but I love the anime. I just want to get a figure for it and he is super cool looking. I uh, got him for a great price which I'm really excited about so he is just an awesome addition to my figure collection. Uh, and then moving on right in front of him I have Roy Mustang which is a Kotobukiya art fixture figure. I adore this figure. It was my first like nice scale figure um, and which has started the madness that is my figure collecting now so uh, he has a special place in my heart and he just absolutely looks so good. For the price that he was, he was so worth it. Stunning figure, highly recommend it. Just, they look so good. <laughs> um, and then, okay, moving on, I have more manga, obviously. So I have Akira volumes one through six in the 35th anniversary hardcover box set edition. Definitely the way to collect Akira if you are looking to get into the series. Really great apocalyptic setting vibe. Honestly, it's been a while since I've read Akira and I need to get back into it because I remember really enjoying it. Uh, but Akira is a classic for a reason. Everyone knows about it. And these 35th anniversary hardcovers are stunning. Highly recommend. Okay, next moving on. First up here, I have an Aaron Yeager Kotobo Kia Artifacts J figure. Now you're probably like, girl, where's your Attack on Titan manga? I do not own the manga because I do not like any edition that <laughs> is currently released in English. I think they all look dumb, so I don't buy them. Uh, but if they, you know, in 10 years release a nice deluxe edition that I really like, you know what? I'll pick it up. Uh, I did watch the, uh, the anime, so do just be aware of that. Anyways, uh, really cool figure. This is actually uh, my mom's favorite figure. She like visited and came over one day and I was like, I'm just curious, what one do you like? And she's like, this one's pretty cool. So uh, yeah, it got the stamp of approval from my mother. So take that, I guess, as you will. <laughs> um, and then behind him, actually, I have a Berserk Guts canvas print thing. I got this in a bundle from um, Kido Kuniya when they released the last uh, volume of Berserk written by Mira in Japanese. They just kind of like put out a bundle for it, like of things, and this was one of the things. So he's just kind of hanging out back there holding up my Vagabond, to be honest. And then talking about Vagabond, I have Vagabond in the Viz Big Editions volumes 1 through 12. I mean, beautiful series. Look at this mural on the spines. Fantastic. Artwork is great. It's it's a classic saying and everyone knows about it. Um, but yeah, so I need to get back into this. But from what I've read, it's really great. Okay, moving on down. First up here, I have Devilman in the Classic Editions 1 and 2, Volumes 1 and 2. I love Devilman. It is an older series and it's not a lot of people's taste, but I adore it. It's actually in my top five. I need to make another video on my top favorite mangas because it has mangas and manga because it has changed a lot. But Devilman follows our main character who basically gets turned into part devil uh and he kind of just goes around and saves humanity and there's just like a lot of really interesting dynamics between our two main characters and i love the religious elements because i am religious so it's like i'm reading it i'm like i i know what you're talking about so <laughs> i just really enjoy devil man i highly recommend it if you are an older audience uh, it's crazy it's wacky but it is really really good 
Okay, next moving on, I have Monster and the Perfect Editions Volumes 1 through 9. This is complete. Uh, this is definitely, I don't, honestly, one of my favorite Ursula works. I don't know if it is my favorite. Pluto is definitely up there for me. Uh, but, I mean, everyone knows about Monster. It's a great mystery read. I love our characters. Dr. Tenma, uh, you know, our main antagonist. I'm totally blanking on his name. Regardless, though, really good read. Highly recommend it. I don't need to preach Monster to you. You've probably been preached to about it before. Really good stuff. Um, next moving on here, I have, ooh, one of my favorite reads as of late. This is my Zani Koku volumes one through 10, believe it or not. Uh, in the perfect, I guess, editions or whatever you wanna say uh, by Viz. These editions are stunning. It's like, they're really nice. They're like a really good size thickness, but they also have like, you can kind of see like the texture on the covers, which I love. Uh, my Sunny Koku is a really good rom-com read and it's, just Rumiko Takahashi, I think, does the rom-com and romance genre, slice of life genre, so well. Uh, like, I just, reading the series, got so invested in the characters and, you know, who they are and their relations with other characters. Uh, I just highly recommend it if you're looking for a good romance read. But just done very, like, tastefully, but with, like, a lot of drama. Let's be real here. Um, and then right here, I have a Goku, uh, Kid Goku milk figure from his training. Any, like, Kid Goku figure, I need. Okay, uh, moving on down. First up, I have, no surprise, another Goku figure. Sorry, it's dusty. I haven't dusted it in a while. Uh, this is just a Goku standee. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. But uh, behind him, I have Noragami Volumes 1 through 25, currently up to date. This is a tight shelf, so I can't pull things out because it's pretty tight. Uh, Noragami is a really good read that I think, honestly, I say it every time, Anyone from any preferences in manga, either it's romance or action or dark fan, like I think anyone can really get a kick out of this series. I highly recommend it. I know that there's only a couple more volumes being released and then the series is done, which is kind of a bummer, um, but I love this read, highly recommend it. There are also Omnis being currently released of this series. I prefer the singles over the Omnis, but it is a good, potentially cost-effective option. So really good stuff, I really like it. And then moving on, I have Siren Volumes 1 through 16. This is complete. Uh, this has been a goal of mine to finish collecting for a while, and I finally got the Elusive Volume 10. I don't know when. I don't know when, but I got it complete, and that's all that, ma that's all that matters. Uh, Siren is an older Shonen Jump title that, honestly, I don't think gets enough credit um, or enough people have read it. I think it kind of was released during, like, the peak age of Shonen, and there were so many other things that just kind of got, you know, muddled down by, you know, other things being released in the magazine at the time. But fantastic, classic battle Shonen. I really recommend it. I've been really enjoying it. I need to get back into it. Uh, it's, I'm a couple volumes behind, um, but I'm really enjoying it. I highly recommend it, and I'm really glad that it's completed. Just know it will be difficult to complete because I think volume 10, 8, 6, 7, I just know that volumes are going pretty out of print and pretty hard to find. I know it's not in print, but just hard to find in general. So do just be aware of that, but really enjoyable read. Okay, moving on down. Sorry, the cat is going to be here again. Um, in the back here, I have... The Gray Man, volumes one through, I believe, 27, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, D. Gray Man is one of those older shonens that everybody sings the highest praises about that I just knew that I needed to have. Um, I haven't gotten into it yet, in all honesty. Um, but that definitely is high on the agenda because I just want to know because everyone freaking loves it and I don't I don't quite understand obviously because I haven't read it but uh, yeah excited to have this I got it all for like a really good deal so I'm excited to get into it once I finally do and then next to it I have Yona of the Dawn you can't really tell but volumes one through eleven minus seven I know seven got reprinted I just need to buy it uh, Yona of the Dawn is a shojo manga and I don't have a whole ton of shojo manga in my collection not for any particular reason um, but I just don't so. So I am actually really excited to have this. I've read the first couple volumes and I've really enjoyed it. I know Miura, I don't know if he took inspiration from or he just had like affiliations with the mangaka, but I know Miura has ties to Yona and like, I really like that. I'm like, okay, so it's gonna be good. And uh, he hasn't let me down yet. So I am enjoying it from what I've read so far. And then moving on in the front, I have, okay. <laughs> I have Black Clover uh, volumes. One, one. one of them is actually a Loot Crate exclusive volume cover. I'll show you the cover, but I, I'm not gonna pull it out. But anyways, uh, one through 31, I am missing volume 32 that actually just got recently released. I do need to go pick that up probably today, hello. Um, Black Clover is a really good, like just fantasy, 
read. I don't know, it's just a solid shonen. In my head, I kind of equate it to Fire Force, just kind of like that type of shonen. Um, but it has been getting so dark in the later volumes and I've been loving it. So I highly recommend you guys give it a shot. I know it's kind of intimidating. There's a lot of volumes out. Theoretically, a box set will come out, who knows when. Theoretically, one day it'll happen, but I have been loving Black Clover and it's just magic and fun and just intense action and I love that. Okay, moving on, I have Mashal Magic and Muscles volumes one through 10. I, ow, he's biting me, stop it. <laughs> uh, Mashal Magic and Muscles volumes one through 10. If you like Harry Potter, uh, you will like this. It's honestly a lot of themes from that series, but it's also just kind of like a gag manga. Like I, everyone always says, but I would agree. It's a beautiful combination of Harry Potter and One Punch Man. So if you like either of those series, definitely give it a shot. I think it's a lot of fun, right up my alley, and I just highly recommend it. I don't know, I think it's fun. I think it's a fun newer shonen, and I just really have been enjoying it. Okay, so moving on to the next shelf. First up here, I have a Naruto Sage Mode. GEM Mega House figure. I love this figure. I think he looks super cool. I love his pose. I love his smile. He does have an interchangeable face, uh, but I definitely went with the Sage Mode eyes because I mean, he's in, he's rocking the Sage Mode. Why would I go with any other eyes? Uh, regardless though, really cool figure. Really like him. But behind him, I have Vinland Saga volumes one through 12. Vinland Saga is my favorite manga series, or my second favorite manga series of all time. I mean, it's just like Vikings and heavy action and the character development of our main character Thorfinn is so good. Asgard as an antagonist, fantastic. Regardless, if you like Vikings and you like heavy action, you will like this. It's kind of one of those another like proclaimed seinens in the community for good reason. It's really great. I will say I, you're probably like, where's volume 13? Volume 13 was released. So Kadansha actually announced recently that this is getting a deluxe hardcover, which they're already hardcover, but like a deluxe treatment. So I'm kind of waiting to see how those look like before I keep buying any more, because if those look really good, then I'm just gonna collect those because I'm a sucker for a deluxe edition. So uh, these are really nice though, like you can't really go wrong with them. So it'll, the deluxes will have to be really nice for me to like sell these off and get those, but just kind of waiting. I don't want to potentially uh, buy manga if I don't really, I'm gonna keep collecting it in that edition, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, good stuff, Fiddle Saga, great, love it. Moving on. <sighs> Taking a very different change of pace, we have Emma. So this is Emma volumes one through five. This is complete. This actually got reprinted as of late. So if you're looking to get into Emma, now is the time. Emma is such a good romance read, like romance drama filled read, uh, set in the Victorian era following our main character, Emma, who is a maid. She falls in love with this boy who is of high class and of a stature, and how are they supposed to be together if she is of low class, no class, and he is someone of nobility? It follows kind of that around, that storyline, and I just love it. I think she did such a good job telling the story. It's like, you follow adults, I love me a good adult romance, and they're just like, I just think she did so good. I read this entire series so fast like <laughs> unbelievably fast so if you are looking for a good romance drama filled read definitely read Emma and also it being in a different time period I really like that as well okay moving on down we have my Dragon Ball shrine so Dragon Ball is another one of my favorite manga reads definitely the OG Z is good but there's something about the OG <laughs> I've been really loving Dragon Ball as of late um, and have been consuming a lot of its content so uh, first up here I have a little mini like Goku figure like he's just ready to go he's got a monkey on it it's Literally adorable. I love this figure so much. He's just so little and he just kind of hangs out. <laughs> he just kind of hangs out up there. Um, and then right here, I actually have volume one of Dragon Ball in the singles. I do want to get volume one of Dragon Ball uh, in Japanese. I just need to obviously get that. Uh, but Dragon Ball, I love it. OG Dragon Ball. I keep saying it, but it's so freaking good. Anyways, so I actually decided to collect Dragon Ball through the Omnis. I love these Vizbigs. I think they look so clean. I love how the spines look. I just, they look so good to me. So I have uh, Dragon Ball, the OG, and then Dragon Ball Z. I am, I want to say like 
160, 170 chapters into Z. Um, I need to keep going on that, uh, but obviously I can easily do that because I have all of Z here. I don't have super because I just am obviously not done with Z. And honestly, spinoffs like that are kind of difficult for me to read. I don't know, like I don't see myself ever picking up like Boruto. I don't know, maybe that'll change one day, but currently working with this and I'm really I really like how this is set up and then I also have a uh, figure over here as well I think he looks freaking sick uh this is I don't know what brand it is but he wasn't all that expensive and he is so cool to look at like the details are awesome I don't know they just did a really good job with this figure but yeah that is my Dragon Ball shelf I'll shut up about it but it is like one of my favorite series it is absolutely so good Okay, first up here, I have my Hiei figure from Yu Yu Hakusho. He is a Kotobuki Artifix Stray figure. This figure, amongst the other Yu Yu Hakusho uh, Kotobuki figures, are actually getting uh, re... I don't want to say reprinted, because they're not getting printed, but they're actually uh, like coming back in stock. So if you want to get the figures, now is the time. He's really cool. I just really, I really like how he looks. And I love how much shorter he is than the other ones. <laughs> I mean, it's accurate. I just find it, I just find it kind of funny. Um... Beside him then, I just have a fake plant, but behind him, I have Summertime Rendering in the paperback editions, volumes one through six. Summertime Rendering is probably one of my favorite reads recently. It is such a good mystery thriller read with like really like unique like elements to it. If you are looking for something of that nature, I highly recommend Summertime Rendering. Uh, I was really impressed by it. The characters are really interesting. The ending was also really satisfying. The ending, like endings are always like so scary to me. I'm like, how will you end? But it ended actually really good in my opinion. So this is released in both paperback and hardcover editions. I went the paperback route. Um, and they're just stunning. Udon did such a good job. I highly recommend this series. Really great mystery read. I really enjoy it. Just just read it. I mean, I uh, just read it. <laughs> um, and then next moving on, I have Sweat and Soap, volumes 1 through 11. I know it doesn't really fit on the shelf, but it kind of color-wise kind of fits, so we're working with it. Anyways, uh, Sweat and Soap is, oh my gosh, such a good adult romance read. I love it. This series kind of, like, encouraged me to, like, read, like, My Sonny Koku or to read, like, Emma. Like, it... It encouraged me to look beyond my typical genres that I read, and I'm so glad that I did. It's just such a good adult office, like, romance read, and I know Sweat and Soap sounds weird, and I know there's, like, a weird kind of stigma with this series. It's not weird. It's so cute. They're so cute, and I just... Just read it. Like, if you're looking for a good rom-com, like, adult romance read, this is... Read it. And there's a box set coming out, or, like... I think there is a box set out, or like it's part of a box set, I don't entirely know. Just read it, it's really good. <laughs> uh, and then changing pace, yet again, uh, I have Book Around Hours Volumes 1 through 11, this is complete, uh, with the Ever Elusive Volume 3, one of my best finds in my collection, I got this for retail, which, if you know anything about that volume, that is unheard of. Regardless though, Book Around Hours is a really good sci-fi, kind of like mystery thriller read. Uh, I binge this series all in like a setting, like a period of time, and it's so good. It's so messed up, but it's really good. Uh, I would be careful reading this. It deals with a lot of like sensitive topics, uh, potentially triggering topics, so do just be aware of that. Um, but I really enjoyed this read, and I'm so happy to have it physically. Um, if you're wanting to get into this series, now is the time to start picking them up because I know volumes are going out of stock left and right. So, or out of print, honestly. I don't see themselves. I don't see, I don't see Viz ever reprinting this series. Uh, but fantastic read. Really excited to have it in the collection. I just, it's, it's really good. Really dark, but really, really good. And then next up, I have Pluto by Urasawa volumes one through eight complete. I love Pluto. I, it's honestly, like, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, this is my favorite Urasawa work, which is crazy because it's not one of his more well-known ones. I mean, it's well-known, but, like, it's not, like, 20th Century Boys level, you know what I mean? Pluto is so good. It's about a society where robots and humans live together, and then the best of the best robots start to go missing and dying, and we don't know why. It's very fast-paced right off the bat, 
which I absolutely adore. I am someone who really appreciates quick stories. You know, there's a time and a place for a slow burn, but there is a time and a place for it to be fast. And this is a time and the place and he did it so well. This is also uh, in association with Tezuka, the Astro Boy story, obviously. Um, but I love Pluto, definitely give it a shot. And with only eight volumes, I mean, it's not gonna break the bank. And I believe all the volumes are in like current circulation right now. So they're being reprinted. Um, so now is the time to pick it up if you been thinking about it previously. Okay, so this is like my claim to fame um, in my collection. Uh, if you have any context or have watched me previously, you kind of know this story. So I have Knights of the Zodiac volumes 1 through 28. This is complete. If you didn't know, Knights of the Zodiac is a very out of print, hard to find manga in English. It's actually pretty widely available in um, other countries, but in English, it is a nightmare to try and collect. I started reading this on the Shonen Jump app and really enjoyed it. I, it's, it's basically, uh, you know, surrounding Greek mythology and I love Greek mythology. So I was like, I need this series in English. And then I tried to look it up and I'm like, hmm, $2,000 for a set? Maybe not. <laughs> so uh, I honestly just dug, went deep on Facebook Marketplace and found like all of the super expensive volumes for like 30 bucks. And I, when I tell you I cried, I cried. <laughs> so this is definitely my claim to fame in my collection. Probably they're definitely the most expensive series that I have. Um, but again, it's like, it's an older series. Not a lot of people get into it right now in this, in this time period, in this day and age. But if you like Greek mythology, I would give it a shot. I think it's really good. I've been really enjoying it. And yeah, I don't know. There's just something, something about it that I just really love. So very excited to have this. I digress. This is my flex of my collections. <laughs> uh, moving on beyond that, I have Yu Yu Hakusho volumes 1 through 19. I know volume 4 is missing. It's currently on my TBR pile by my bed, which I will show you in a second here. Uh, Yu Yu Hakusho actually recently also got reprinted. So now is the time to get into Yu Yu Hakusho as well. I've been working my way through it. I'm actually on volume 4. I think it is such a fun battle shonen. I've actually been enjoying this more than Hunter x Hunter, which is another series done by the same mangaka. That might be controversial, I don't know. Um, but definitely give Yu Yu Show a shot, especially because it is getting reprinted and now it will not break the bank to try and read it and collect it. So really good stuff. Again, solid battle shonen. I've been really enjoying it. Uh, and then in front of that, I have Denji and Power from Chainsaw Man, just the Nendroids, and then I have a Pochita and Meowy uh, little thing as well. I love Chainsaw Man. Honestly, in all, like, in all transparency, uh, I have struggled getting into the second part of Chainsaw Man. Anyone else, or is that just me? I don't know, but they're hanging out, they're cute, I love them. Uh, and then moving on down, another double stack shelf. Uh, first up back there, I have the Promised Emerald. I believe volumes 1 through 20, I think it goes up to 20. And then I also have the uh, Beyond the Promised Emerald. I believe that's what it's called. It's kind of like a, a short story spinoff, I guess, of the series. The Promised Neverland is the first manga that I picked up. Uh, it was one of the first anime that I watched as well, and I finished the first season, and I was like, I need more content, so I went out and got the manga. So is it the best thing I've ever read? No, but I just, it has, again, such a sentimental place in my heart. I absolutely adore it. Uh, if you're looking for something kind of unique, like I feel like the premise is very unique, definitely give it a shot. Uh, I really like it. I don't know, I, re I really just do really enjoy it. So very excited to have this in the collection. Um, really good, interesting story. And I just recommend it for a solid, a solid shonen. I think it's just very different and I like that a lot. Um, next, moving on. I have Blue Exorcist volumes one through six. I'm slowly collecting that series. I'm not really in a rush by any means. Um, I'll collect it when I collect it. Uh, it's just kind of like another like Exorcist series. Um, it follows our main character who discovers that he is the son of someone very important. <laughs> and uh, he kind of goes to school to learn how to become an exorcist and all that sort of stuff. Um, I've been really enjoying it so far. Right now it's pretty chill uh, just because I'm sure it's gonna explode later, the premises, but um, I've been enjoying it right now. Um, and then next to it, I have Blue Box volumes one and two. Um, I know volume three came out. I need to pick that up uh, here shortly, but Blue Box is a, is it a rom-com? I think it's a rom-com, like, sports series uh, focused kind of on badminton. 
primarily, which I actually really like. I love badminton. I played in high school and I just adored badminton a lot in, you know, growing up. So it's kind of fun to, you know, have a manga more centered and focused on it. Um, yeah, really good read. I actually love the rom-com elements. I think it balances it really well. And I just highly recommend it. It's been an enjoyable newer uh, releasing shonen. So, uh, and then next one on, I have One Pound Gospel volumes one through four. This is done by Rumiko Takahashi. I have yet to read this. Um, I was able to find the ever elusive, I don't know what, was it volume four? I think volume four was the one, the difficult one to find. Um, but I was able to find that uh, for like five bucks. Sometimes I'm like, how do I get this lucky? <laughs> um, but yeah, really excited to get into that. I don't really know a whole lot about it. I think it's some sort of like rom com type thing. Um, but yeah, I love Rubika Takahashi and I just needed that. And then going into the front, I have One Punch Man volumes one through 24. Everyone knows about One Punch Man and for great reason. It is a fantastic seinen. Uh, I was calling it shonen for uh, many, many a collection videos and I've been cor corrected every time. It's actually seinen. Um, One Punch Man is fantastic. If you are looking for just a action filled kind of gag manga, but like can get really intense and the artwork is just absolutely phenomenal. This is the series for you. The panels in this read are absolutely in saying. Uh, I love this read. I need to get back into it. It's been a while since I've read a volume. I think I'm currently at volume 12 and I need to get back into it because it is just so good. So highly recommend it. Our main character Saitama is a superhero for fun and he's just kind of like the end all like OP main character but there's so much more to it. So highly recommend it. Really good stuff. Uh, I think it's a great manga to get into um, initially as well. So yeah. And then next moving on, I have Battle Royale Volumes 1 through 15. Uh, Battle Royale is exactly what it sounds like. It is a Battle Royale manga. It is dark. It is gruesome. The panels in this series sometimes had made me like stop and like, you know what? I need a moment before I vomit <laughs> because some of the panels are pretty like intense, um, but I really enjoy it. There's like nothing really to it, like intellectually or story-wise. Like it's not the best story ever written. It's not, you know, whatever. But I just really like it. It's in my top 10 for that. And I don't really know why. <laughs> I don't know why. But I just really like it. It's a lot of action, high intensity situations. And I would recommend it to an older audience for sure. It's very gruesome. And there's uh, definitely adult content in here as well. Um, but yeah, if you do want Battle Rail, just know that it is out of print. And honestly, the singles, these aren't too hard to find. But do just be aware, you might have to do a little bit of looking for them. Okay, next moving on, uh, starting on the new bookcase, I have an Edward Elric Kotobukiya Art of X-Ray figure from Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist is my third favorite uh, manga and anime, actually, of all time. Um, so very excited to have him in the collection. He just looks so good. I think they did such a good job. The shading is superb. But behind him, I have a Bride Story Volumes 1 through 13. This is another like historical timepiece kind of slice of life story. Um, I love anything historical and I love learning about different cultures and of different people. So this is a great read for me. This is actually done by the same mangaka as Emma. So um, really enjoy it. I need to get more into it. I am a couple volumes behind, but just like a really good historical slice of life uh, read with fantastic artwork. I mean, she just does always such a good job with the art. It is really impressive. So yeah, beautiful art covers also by Yen Press. How could you go wrong? Next moving on, I have Full Metal Alchemist Volumes 1 through 18 in the Full Metal Editions. These editions are so nice. Every time I look at them, I'm like, wow, like, Viz, you really did that. I am just honestly really impressed with these editions. They're quite nice. Full Metal Alchemist needs no introduction. I mean, everyone knows about it. I have a tattoo of it. I mean, it is just a fantastic series and completed at 18 volumes. It's honestly not that bad. They are expensive. I will admit that. I think they're like 20 bucks a volume or so, uh, but it is just such a good story and so worth it to me to have it in these really nice editions because it's my third favorite series of all time. I'm going to get the nicest edition of it. So very excited to have this complete and they just look so good. Okay, next moving on down here, I have Yomoshi Petal Volumes 1, 1 through 21, which is actually up to date. This is actually a Loot Crate exclusive version of Yomoshi Petal, just in a single volume format, because these are technically Omnis. I got it because why not? And it was cheap. Uh, Yomoshi Petal is a really good 
sports cycling series and I know you're like cycling that's boring no it's not I I just find myself getting so hyped while reading this series like really unique artwork like you've never seen artwork like this anywhere else and it's just like I love it really good again series if you're looking for a new like different kind of sports series to get into I would really recommend this do just be aware though the volumes are getting some of them are getting hard to find um and then right here I have a Yusuke figure from Yu Hakusho and then Pooh on his head uh he's just kind of hanging out this is kind of a key art fixture figure also getting uh, a re-release so if you want to get the figure now is the time and then moving on down here first up I just have a fake plant and then a guts glass painting but behind that I have real volumes 1 through 15 minus volume 8 if you or a loved one is selling volume 8 please let me know because I have been <laughs> I have been wanting to continue reading this series for so long and I just haven't been able to because volume 8 doesn't exist uh real though beyond my frustration it's a sports manga focused on wheelchair basketball and one i just like how it's different than anything that i've ever read i love learning about new things wheelchair basketball being what i would be learning about and two it's also like very human like this series has a very like human feel to it in the sense of like it's sports, but it's more focused on like the development of our characters, going through hard things, overcoming them, and it's just very inspiring. So highly recommend Real. Just buy it. It's so good. And volume eight, please come back and print. Viz, please come back and print because I just need that stupid volume eight to continue. It's been so long. I'm so mad. <laughs> okay. Anyways, next moving on here, I have Ikigami volumes one through 10. This is complete. Ikigami is a fantastic manga series. I don't think enough people read it. It's really good. It's really interesting. It follows a society where at a young age, everyone is injected with this capsule-like thing. And at random, at a certain age, in certain people, these capsules will kill them. And it follows them basically like figuring out what to do with the last 24 hours of their lives. It's kind of episodic in nature with an overarching theme. Uh, and it's just really interesting to, to think about. Like if I had 24 hours left to live, what would I do? Slash, just interesting to see what these people do. So highly recommend it. Uh, if you're looking for kind of like a thriller type, like, I don't know, edgy read. <laughs> I have to give it a shot. Uh, I think these volumes are, I don't know if they're hard to find. They might be, I have no idea, but I would just give it a shot. I think it's really interesting uh, and I like the psychological aspect of it a lot. And then next moving on here, I have Hell's Paradise volumes one through 13. This is complete. Are we excited for the anime? I most certainly am. <laughs> uh, Hell's Paradise is just a really good kind of battle royale type read. A bunch of these convicts go to this island to try to retrieve the elixir of life to gain their freedom. However, they get to this island and the island is a little bit more complex than the, <laughs> maybe they uh, initially anticipated. Um, really good read. I really like it. Very action packed, uh, very cool artwork. And the anime is going to be so good. I'm so looking forward to that. Uh, and then in front of that, I have uh, Sasuke and Naruto Nendroids. And that is this shelf. Okay, moving on down here. Next up, I have a, another very acclaimed, highly acclaimed seinen in the community that is Gantz, volumes 1 through 11 in the Omnis by Dark Horse. I'm not gonna lie, I really didn't want to have to buy these Omnis, but I read volume 1 of Gantz and I'm like, oh, man, it's so good. You know what? Fine. I'll buy, the, <laughs> I'll buy the Omnis. I'll swallow my pride, even though I don't love how I'm reading a brick, um, but honestly, like the reading experience isn't too bad. Uh, but just all in all, Gantz is fantastic. It's definitely in my top ten. It is a uh, heavy action sci-fi read, and it's just so interesting. Like it's just nonsense, but like good and like interesting nonsense. I don't know how to completely articulate it, uh, but it is just like a really interesting read. Highly recommend it if you're older and you kind of like that. Seinen, heavy action, heavy gore, uh, sci-fi type stuff, you will really enjoy Gantz. I've been really enjoying it and I need to get back into it because I think I'm on like volume five or I think like volume six. Uh, and yeah, this series keeps you on your toes. Just be aware of that. You will not be able to predict anything. And that's what I really love about this read. And then right here, actually, I have, this is actually a new figure. I actually just got her in today. Uh, I don't know how to say her name because I only read the manga. Is it Reika? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. But anyways, this is, I'm going to call her Reika. Uh, this is the Reika Union Creative, uh, 
Gantz figure shotgun version. I got her in today. Uh, she's a little bit nasty, man, but she just looks so freaking cool. I wanted to get a figure for Gantz, and this is one of the ones that I really, really liked. So, beautiful figure. She's hanging out here. She's making the shelf look good. Uh, and I just, the figure honestly is so nice. I love the matte and like the shiny version and this, the parts. I just, she just, she looks so good. Definitely worth it. I uh, got her for a really great price, which I'm really excited for. So that is my Gans shelf. And then moving on down here, I have uh, <laughs> my Hero Academia volumes one through, I think, is it 33? I don't entirely remember. One through something. Uh, my Hero is honestly a series that I have been wanting to get into. I'm honestly not sure if the manga will be staying in my collection. Um, and then back here, I have Kaiju number eight volumes one through five. Fantastic newer shonen. I really love it. It's really interesting. Basically, our main character turns into part kaiju and helps the world stop kaijus. I mean, it's yeah, it's not like a super thrilling concept, but I just really enjoy it. I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun and I think you'll enjoy it. <laughs> um, and then moving on front here, I have Roni Kenshin volumes one through 28. Now, Roni Kenshin's mangaka is a dirtbag and we all hate him. Uh, not a good guy, but he did write a really good story. <laughs> I'll give him that. Uh, really good samurai story following our main character Kenshin. Uh, I need to get back into this. I think I'm at volume 11. Volume 11 or 12. Um, I've been really enjoying it. I did buy these volumes used, so I did not support the mangaka in any way but it is a really good series. So I would recommend, honestly, I'd recommend reading it, but do pick up the volumes used because we do not support bad people in this household. Uh, and then moving on, we have Chainsaw Man volumes one through 11 and then uh, 1721, which is another work written by the same mangaka. I love Chainsaw Man. It's so good. I really enjoy it. I haven't read much of part two just because I'm like, <sighs> like, I don't know. There's like some apprehension for me in a weird way um but i do really like this series i mean everyone knows about it of course i mean it's super popular but yeah good stuff so that is actually uh it for my main shelf uh and now we're gonna move into the smaller ones with some other random manga okay so moving on actually over to my bedside shelf i guess uh this actually houses one piece literally just one piece uh i Knew that it wouldn't be feasible for me to put it on this shelf because there's literally 90 volumes that I have so far and more on the way. So I decided to just put it on, get its own shelf, dedicate it to it, and just call it a day. Uh, so I actually collected one piece through the box sets. So I have one through 33, 34 through 64, and then 65 through 90. So one piece is a bear to collect. There's a lot of volumes, but they, you know what? The box sets came back in stock, so here I be. Um, I am actually really enjoying one piece. I need to get more into it. I'm still on, I think I'm at volume 16, um, and I need to get back into the series because I have enjoyed what I read. Um, but yeah, it's just like so intimidating. There's so many volumes. Uh, but going beyond that, uh, I have a Dion Android and then a Kakuin Android. I love Kakuin. I love Kakuin. Uh, <laughs> um, and then right here is actually my TBR pile. So my bed is right here. Uh, and this is where I put books that I'm currently reading. So this is Yu Hakusho volume four. Uh, obviously that wasn't over there. So it's over here. I have Yakuza Fiance Volume 2. I'm partway through this. I need to get back into it. I have number six, uh, which is the new Omnis by Kanansha. Uh, again, I'm partway through it. I need to get back into it. I've actually been really enjoying this. And I also have Blade of the Immortal, Cry of the Worm. So I believe this is Volume 2 of the singles. So this is kind of like my current TBR little pile. Uh, obviously, like there's more manga that I need to read. This isn't the end all, <laughs> um, but this just kind of hangs out here. So then in the middle of the night or, you know, at night, I can just like reach over and grab it and then just read whatever I want to. So yeah, that's kind of where that exists. Uh, moving on down here, I have a fake plant and then a Kirby little 3D printed guy. He's so cute. He just hangs out there. And then I also have a Luffy figure uh, that fell off. My cat keeps whapping it off of him. I don't know why. So he's just kind of, his little sash thing is just going to have to live in misery down there. Um, so that is this shelf. And now I have one more shelf to get to. 
Okay, so this is actually my TV stand. Uh, so I have more manga here. Manga, there's manga everywhere. <laughs> First up here, I have Erased Volumes 1 through 5. I recently picked this up and I'm so glad that I did because this is such a good series. Um, I have been loving this. I'm currently on Volume 3. Um, really good, interesting read. If you want kind of like a mystery thriller type read, definitely give this a shot. I've been really enjoying it. And these releases by Yen Press are stunning. Really beautiful hardcover editions. Next, moving on, I have Ultraman Volumes 1 through 9. I read Volume 1, really liked it, and then was able to find 2 through 9 for a really, really good price. Um, I don't know, I have actually been really enjoying Ultraman. I haven't read a whole lot of volumes yet, but it's just like an interesting read. I don't really know how to completely describe it um, without giving the things away, um, but I've been actually really enjoying it. And the covers are just like, look at that, look how cool that is. Yeah, so I've been really enjoying it. I uh, can't wait to get further into it, uh, but just like a good like action kind of sci-fi type read, I'd say. And then next moving on here, I have Blue Lock Volumes 1 through 5. Really good sports series. I like it a lot because it's like a battle royale type setting. Uh, just like it's really intense soccer or football as other people may call it. Uh, and I really like it. Basically, uh, there's like a big facility where everyone is competing to be the striker of the Japan's team. And it's like a battle royale thing. I really enjoy it. Very intense, but I really enjoy, <laughs> enjoy it. Uh, next up, I have Chojin X Volume 1. Look at that. Freaking cover, bro. That looks so good. Uh, this is a newer release done by Fizz. I believe this is the same mangaka also as the Tokyo Ghoul mangaka. Um, so I read this. I actually really enjoyed it. Uh, I think there's a lot of room for it to grow, but I'm excited for and to see it progress and grow. It definitely has similar themes as Tokyo Ghoul. Like our main character gets kind of like turned into this part being thing and he just kind of needs to discover who he is and whatever, how he relates to the world. They're bad people, whatever. But I really enjoy it. So I would give it a shot. It's definitely thick though. Like it's definitely a thicker volume, but that's not, that's not a bad thing. Uh, moving on, I have Kowloon Generic Romance Volumes 1 and 2. This is a really good uh, romance mystery read. The end of volume one, I was reading and I'm like, you know, I like, this is, this is good. But like, I'm like, there's something missing. But the end of volume one kind of just unearths this huge mystery. And I'm really excited to see how it progresses and where it goes. I've been really enjoying it. Definitely give this a shot. If you're looking for like a romance, but with like some edge, you know what I mean? Next up, I have Marmalade Boy volume one. I'm actually surprised I enjoyed this as much as I did. I really liked Marmalade Boy. Um, it is a shoujo, an older shoujo that is currently being reprinted by Seven Seas. Um, and it's just like a high school setting, pretty typical stuff. Uh, our main girl character and, you know, gets in a weird situation with our main guy character. And it's like, do they like each other? Are they supposed to like each other? Like, it's a whole thing. Uh, but I actually really enjoyed it. And I love this release. I think uh, Seven Seas did a really good job, so I highly recommend it. And then next moving on, I have Yakuza Fiance Volume 1. You saw Volume 2 over there. Really good shoujo, kind of like an edgier shoujo, and I really like it. <laughs> uh, it basically follows our main girl character who is part of a Yakuza family, um, and she kind of gets shipped off to this boy's family to try to like make amends and to see if they like each other and to like bridge the gap between them. And, it's, and there's like a whole thing. I actually really enjoy it. So I recommend, <laughs> I recommend it. Um, really fun read, uh, and I've been really enjoying it. Next up, I have Romantic Killer Volumes 1 and 2. This is, I like it a lot, and I know a lot of people don't really like it. There's a lot of controversy with it, um, but again, it's a good reverse harem series. The anime is also really cute. Um, so yeah, I've been really enjoying this one, and I'm excited to keep getting into it. Next up, we have The Boxer. Now this is actually a manhwa, and it is probably one of my favorite reads that I've read recently. It is so freaking good. It is a sports series centered around boxing, and I cannot wait to read more, and I cannot wait to get more because it is fantastic. Uh, definitely read this. Like, if I recommend, oh, I recommend a lot of things, but this I really mean because it is really, really good. Next up, I have Under Ninja Volume 1. Uh, this series was interesting. Like, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't, like, thrilling. Like, it wasn't anything, like, I'm absolutely in love with. Obviously, the series isn't done. The first volume was interesting enough for me to, like, kind of keep reading it. Basically, there's a society where, like, there are ninjas that aren't supposed to be a thing, but they are a thing, and they, you know go on missions and do things and it follows our main character who's kind of a slob but then he's like a ninja also like I don't know I am excited to see where this goes and that's why I'm keeping this volume but it wasn't anything like super groundbreaking the first volume was at least okay next we on here first up I have Apollo Song by Osamu Tezuka this is a really good 
work from him. Probably one of my favorites that I have read. Uh, basically follows our main character who in the beginning has really no regard to life, doesn't have a lot of respect for it, and he finds himself in kind of a loop of circumstances to make him just basically learn how to love and how to be a person. Uh, it's very like depressing and it's definitely for an older audience, but I actually really enjoyed it. Uh, and I do highly recommend it if you are kind of wanting to get into that <laughs> into that headspace. Uh, next movie on, I have Blade of the Immortals in, Blade of the Immortals, oh my gosh, Blade of the Immortal in the uh, singles volumes one through 14, obviously not complete. Uh, volume two is over on my bedside. I have had Blade of the Immortal previously in the deluxe editions, but I just wanted the singles. I love how they look and the uniformity on the disuniformity, I guess, on uniformity. You get what I mean. Honestly, it doesn't bother me a whole ton. So here I am now with the singles. I really like the reading experience of these and I am very excited to get further into the series once I obviously decide to read more. Next moving on, I have Dororo in the singles. This was another one of my collecting goals. Uh, recently was to get all of these, obviously the series complete in the singles. This series is kind of difficult to find completed. I think volume three was difficult, I think. Um, there is a Omni released. I don't know, if, I forgot by who, but there is an Omni out of the series. So if you do want a like more reasonably like priced way to collect the series, definitely just go the Omni route. I do prefer the singles, the Omni is a brick, uh, but this is a really, I'm excited to get into it. Uh, again, I love Dororo, the anime, um, and I'm excited to see how the manga holds up. Next movie on, I have Dan to Dan, volumes one and two. This is a really fun newer releasing series. It's wacky, off the wall action. Really interesting, really random, but I've been really, really enjoying it. Follows kind of like the theme of like aliens and spirits and just all that sort of stuff. So if you're looking for that, I would give it a shot. I've been really enjoying it. Next up, I have Shy Volume 1. This is kind of like a out of left field series for me that I actually really enjoyed. It follows this world where basically, I believe every country has a uh, superhero and um, she is a superhero of Japan, I believe. I could be incorrect, but she's just really, really shy and she's just trying to figure out uh, who she is as a superhero, but also like to negate this bigger threat that is threatening the world. Pretty typical superhero stuff. <laughs> uh, next to it, I have Rainbow Days Volumes 1 and 2. This is a shoujo title following just like a group of guys trying to figure out life, trying to figure out relationships. And it's actually really cute. I've really been enjoying it. And it's also fun to get like a different perspective and, you know, guys perspective instead of the typical female perspective. Um, but I've been really enjoying this and I cannot wait to read more. Uh, really good stuff. Next up, I have Colorless Volumes 1 through 3. Really good, kind of like, I don't know if mecha is the right word. I don't honestly entirely know what that means. <laughs> means um but really interesting series where basically the world is completely wiped from color however there are some fragments left and people are trying to find these fragments and there's this girl that might be the key to you know color and basically it's just humanity like in many many moons from now and just kind of like the destruction of the world but very interesting i really like it beautiful releases by seven seas uh and it's just a really interesting concept i've been really enjoying it um next is actually a webtoon this is tower of god volume one very, very popular webtoon, and honestly, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, it follows our main character who basically ends up at this tower trying to find one of his friends who got lost in said tower, but every level is like a different, every level of this tower is like a different boss or thing that he needs to fight and experience and like trials and all that sort of stuff. It's actually really interesting. I really liked it. A lot of people love it and say that it gets so good later on, and it's already good now, so I'm excited to see where it goes. Okay, next movie on here, I have The Apothecary Diaries volumes, sorry, volumes one through seven. Uh, really good, kind of like Sherlock Holmes type beat, but you know, it's a smart woman and we love smart women. Follows our main character who is a worker in the inner royal courts of China. And there's a lot of drama, a lot of things happen and a lot of mysteries that need to be solved. And that is her job. So kind of fun, just interesting, kind of like mind teaser mystery read. Uh, I highly recommend it. I really enjoy it. Next movie on, I have Komodo Jihan volumes one through four. Uh, just, I would say, like, it's nothing super groundbreaking. It's like, kind of like your, you know, guy is part whatever, fill in the blank, and he needs to help other people 
fight the other part of him. Like, it's just like nothing super groundbreaking, but I actually really enjoy it. I think the characters are kind of fun, kind of interesting. And yeah, I don't know. I'm excited to see where this goes. I don't think this has too many volumes either, which I really appreciate. So uh, excited to get into this further, um, but I've been really enjoying what I've read so far. Next up, I have Candy and Cigarettes, Volumes 1 through 3. Uh, this follows uh, basically a young girl and older the grandpa duo, basically. Uh, the young girl is a trained assassin and the grandpa basically cleans up after her. <laughs> and it's just kind of their dynamic. And I think what I really like about this read is just their dynamic and how they interact with each other and how the grandpa's like, bro, what is this little girl doing? Like killing all these people. <laughs> like, I don't know. There's more to discover about this series, but I've really enjoyed it so far. It's just kind of fun, lighthearted, even though it's like dark topics, but it's just like fun, lighthearted stuff. You know what I mean? And then next to it, I have Momo the Blood Taker, volumes one through three. Again, it's kind of like your typical, like, oh, one of our characters gets turned into half thing and they need to go and stop the other things and it's just a revenge story. But like, again, fun. I don't know. I also love these covers and how they look. I think Seven Seas did such a good job with that. Um, oops, and there goes Alphonse. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this read. I really like it and I can't wait for more volumes to come out. And then as I was saying previously, I have it in Alphonse plush up ahead. Um, right here, if Pippin will let me show you. Hello, son. Can, can we not? Thank you. Uh, I have Ranma one half volumes 1 through 28 in the Omnis. This isn't completed. I am missing a good chunk of the last couple volumes or last couple volumes in this series just because they are not currently easily findable. <laughs> so uh, I am waiting for those to kind of come back in print or at least to get reprinted. Um, so yeah, I really enjoy Ron Mo One Half. It is like a fun kind of like slice of life series focused on our two main characters and one of our main characters when I believe he interacts with cold water, uh, he can transform into a woman. Um, so it's kind of like an interesting kind of concept, but it's just really fun, really cute. I love their interactions and it's just a great slice of life story. So I highly recommend it. And then next moving on, I have Slam Dunk volumes one through 31, finally completed. If you didn't know, Slam Dunk recently got reprinted. Okay, Pippin. <laughs> recently got reprinted, which I am so excited about because I have been wanting to read Slam Dunk for a very long time. A very highly acclaimed sports series in the community, and I just, <laughs> I am really excited to get into it. Basketball series, I haven't read it yet, but I am looking forward to reading it very soon. And then next moving on here, I have Oshinoko Volume 1. This is a, oh my gosh, this is a newer, re newer release by Yen Press. Um, focus on kind of like idol life, which is really interesting, but it's like mystery idol life. Like it's not as cut and dry as idol life. And I actually have really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed volume one and I cannot wait for more volumes. Next, I have some random other things. I have Noragami Stray Stories Volume 1, which is like a side story thing. I have Nor Noragami Stray God Volume 1, which is the Loot Crate exclusive version. And then I have Great Pretender Volume 1. Great Pretender was a really good anime. I don't know if they'll ever print more volumes of this series, um, but I really enjoyed that first one and the anime is really good, so I just kind of keep it, I guess. It's kind of like my art book section and other random assorted things. Um, so I have... Jojo 6251, uh, which is a uh, Jojo's art book. And then I have a, another Jojo's art book, which is more focused on the anime. I have a Naruto, Uzum <laughs> Naruto Uzumaki art book. And then I have a Dragon Ball art book and kind of like a visual, more so visual history. I guess that, that's more accurate. Uh, Rohan at the Louvre. Oh my gosh. Rohan at the Louvre. <laughs> the Akira Club art book that came in the box set. The Promised Neverland art book. Uh, Toilet Bond Hanukkah-kun art book, which I actually no longer have Toilet Bond Hanukkah-kun, so I totally forgot that I actually had the art book for that. Uh, I have Lone Wolf and Cub singles in the, like, original first print. Um, I have the uh, Full Metal Alchemist, I think, 20th anniversary edition, like, book, art book thing. That's actually coming out in English. I always tend to buy things in Japanese. And then like a week later, it gets announced in English. I'm like, okay, great. <laughs> I have the Kirby manga volume one. I just love Kirby. I have volume 41 of Berserk in Japanese, the last volume written by Miura. I have volume one of The Promised Neverland in Japanese. I have volume one of Record of Ragnarok in Japanese. And I have volume one of Full Metal Alchemist in Japanese. So it's kind of like my random 
conglomerate of things section. Uh, but that is this kind of section. Actually, that is all of my manga collection. So guys, again, thank you so much for watching today's collection video. I really appreciate it. My collection is very much a living, breathing thing. I sell and buy stuff all the time, but I am really happy with where it is currently. So again, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.